Um, my name is Ratna Wobal. I'm from Cambodia. The Cambodia has been through a lot of difficult in, in during the time that I grew up. Um, all the time, uh, we, when I grow up, all I remember is running. So um, when I was six years old, the Khmer Rouge have split me away from my family um, to work on a rice field. Um, for a while, we were working, and a lot of us get sick, um, not enough food to eat. And later on, uh, found a letter. My dad have wrote a letter to the commander, um, saying that, that my mom's really sick and he need of us to be home. So gladly that commander let us, you know, to go with my dad. And some commanders very, you know, very mean, and some are very kind. So gladly that he let us go home to see my mom. And then the next day, um, the war start, and um, my mom uh, and dad uh, bring us run to the pond. And some ta somehow I'm kind of hesitated, doesn't want to go to the pond. I, and I, uh, I remember that uh, f the smell and the feel of uh, the whistle of bullet, you know, past my ear. And my mom grabbed me down and pushed me into the pond. So we all in the pond, and then later on my dad said, you know, don't move. So we don't move, and then later on we feel like a snake, a lot of snake. I got goosebumps. Um, a lot of snake. I don't know what kind. I don't know what kind is. So, so we stand there, not move, and gladly the the snakes are swimming, you know, crawling to another side of the, the pond. So we finally we uh, the UN have called all of us to go to the um, camp, the different camp. So we get into the truck go to the Kaidang camp. And that's how we stay there for a while. I, that's how I grew up there in the Kaidang camp. Um, and then later on, we find a, um, a, a letter from a family that live in the US. Uh, my uncle uh, looking for family. So my, my uncle, he came here, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a soldier. So he came here first and he lost all his family. So he um, write a letter with his picture put in the camp, you know, um, looking for uh, a family. So that's how my dad know him and we write, we here, we in the camp. And, and so we keep writing a letter back and forth and, and connect each other. And then we have interview uh, with the immigration and um, we pass the test and we come to the U.S. Uh, the first year that we came to the U.S. it was uh, uh, the first Fourth of July, you know, and uh, when the fire start, my mom was run to the basement when the fire start because it's, it sound like um, you know, war. So she ran downstairs and she called all her children to go downstairs and and let her know that it's not it's not war. <laughs> it's just the fire. Uh, most of us Cambodia that live in the camp. Um, Think that USA is it's a heaven place to live because we have everything. We don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about what we wear. We have everything. And o over there in the camp, we are um, gladly to survive. You know, for um, to have food to eat. It, Instead of we have so much choice, what kind of food we're gonna eat today, and you know, over there we eat um, the same thing. So when we have a space, we like to invite the early and the youth, you know, to talk to each other, to connect. Most of our kids that grow up here, they don't know how difficult it is our parents um, 
that they sacrifice for them. When they get here, they just see everything here, and they're happy, um, they grow up, they have friends, they have food, they have... But the elder, and during my time and during my parents, is um, grow up with fear, grow up with starvation. So we have not lived like this. No, we, we grow up in the jungle, in the camp, in the tent.